competitive against that team, which you guys have done a lot, mm -hmm. to actually have a threat? Um, you know, true belief, um, true preparation. At the end of the day, it's it, it's it's a game, and anything can happen. And um, you know, the way that we practice this week, and the way that we prepare. Um, the way that we travel, the way that we uh, approach this thing, I think will tell a lot about you know how where things are at on Saturday. And um, you know I, I do believe that there's you know there's a real belief here. And um, even though it hasn't been perfect, you know we aren't clicking on all cylinders, but uh, it's another opportunity to go get better against an unbelievable team, um, extremely well coached physical, violent, a lot of really good things that are going to test all of our rules and all of our players. And at the end of the day, this is another op for us to go get better. So it's hard to say, truly. Was there any sort of like coaching emphasis or coaching, I guess, adjustments last week or did the offensive line really start clicking? Yeah, I think that that was, you know, one of those things during the, during the course of the week, we ran the football better in, in practice and, um, you know, it's, it had been coming, you know, we had been saying we were getting better. I don't know if you guys believed us, but, um, you know, we were. And um, it, it was one of those things that the guys stepped up. They played physical. They played violent. They, they played together. It wasn't perfect. And, and our back was unconscious. And um, he, he played. He showed why, you know, he's one of the best backs in the country. And so I, I think that that was – one of those things that it was uh, it was new, like it hadn't happened yet. But I don't know if they were like sitting there too surprised. Was you guys just... pumping in the crowd noise. Any yeah. road game is difficult, but especially a night game in the SEC. How tough are those environments? That's gonna be tough, you know. I mean, nothing that we can do here will truly simulate Saturday night. Um, you know, especially those guys. Um, you know, with some of the move calls that they make. I mean, they, they had South Carolina. They got them to jump off sides, I think, four or five times at home. They do it specifically at home where they make move calls and they get you to move and they shift and they stunt. They get you to do those things at home because they have a competitive advantage there. Uh, why not do it? So those are the things that we're practicing. Those are the things that we have to be on the screws. And will it show up? Hopefully not. But um, it, it, we can't simulate it fully, but it'll be a great environment for these kids to go play. What an experience, and uh, just look forward to Saturday night. Maybe there are one or two things where you, in the passing game where you, let's say, we need to improve in these areas to, to get better in the passing game. Um, yeah, I, I think it's a chemistry. It's a connection. Um, you know, when you lead the country in drops, it's, probably, it's not really a good thing. Um, you know, so I, I just talked to the guys about, you know, there's – 24 hours in a day, right? You're at school, you're eating, you're doing things. Well, let's get on the jugs. Let's let's get some extra work in. We had a great throwing session uh, last night after practice with a bunch of guys, and uh, I think they want to do it, but we, we have to do it. And we we're gonna get we're gonna face the most competitive uh, physical catch team that we've faced so far this up to this date. And um, you know we we have to fix it. And we have to fix it in a hurry. Liam. Um batted balls in the line of scrimmage with Devin. Yeah. How do you go about trying to fix that? It's a it's a combination um, of like the one backed up. Uh, we were running a little trap pass deal and, you know, the tight end gets delivered. I mean, this is one of those things, right? You guys probably don't, you know, this doesn't go into it, but the tight end gets delivered all the way down the line of scrimmage. So he's in the spot that he's not really supposed to be where we're trying to throw the pass. The guard gets knocked back. A little bit there where we're getting some penetration and Devin can be better with his eyes just all right well we know where we're trying to throw the ball well let's you know use our eyes as a weapon and try not to just you know look to where we're going to throw the football at times you know the play we've repped the play we've hit explosives on it already two times this season let's use our eyes as a weapon to try to influence and affect the defenders in a way to where you know as a sm shorter guy in, in some instances we can't have those things, right? Is it gonna happen? Sure, but it can't happen the amount that it has so far. And then the second one on third down, uh, they bring a corner blitz and we don't pick up the corner blitz. And so he's throwing through a tr truly free defender. You know, and at that time it becomes arm angles, changing some of those things in order to make a throw, we've got to pick up the corner blitz. So yeah, I'd love to be able to fix it with the quarterback. We have to fix it with all 11 too.
Georgia is still Georgia, obviously, but they, it seems like, you know, a couple of those SEC games, they play close. Do you sense something? Like, there, there's a, without giving away your secret sauce, like, what's the, where's that window where you guys can attack them and, and take advantage of that match? Uh, you know, honestly, we're really just focusing on playing a full game. You know, executing a full game plan. Executing, oh, well, we executed really well in the run game, but we didn't execute worth worth a bit in the pass game and on third down. So those are, we're just really focusing on the situational football, every single phase of the offense, every single phase of the game plan. If we can execute that just a little bit better, that's what we have to do in order to beat Georgia. The rest will, you know, it's, it's gonna happen Saturday night regardless, but we need to focus on ourselves and execute at a higher level and if we play as physical as we did with the same energy and juice, you know, good things should happen. Stoops has talked a couple times this week about needing to see more from Anthony and Dekel this mm. coming week. Anything specific you've seen from them in practice this week or anything specific you're looking for from them? Oh, um, you know, just looking for consistency, right? I mean, they're, they're two young guys that obviously haven't played a ton of football. Um, so that game experience uh, is necessary. You know, we need to get them going a little bit. You know, Dane and those guys can't play as many snaps as they're playing. Um, not because they, it's not warranted, just for longevity of the season and to get those guys some opportunities. And uh, AB's been a you know great addition to this offense in terms of doing everything right all the time. He has to continue to play with that consistency. And then Dekel has to as well just be, you know, getting off on the right snap count, running the right route, running it fast. You know, truly have us trust you to do everything. I really like the Kel Crowdis. I want him to do well. I do trust him. But now, hey, in an extended role, how do you go out there and handle that? But I am excited to see those guys, you know, get out and be able to be a little bit more part of this thing. Because we just, uh, um, I, guess, I guess as a coordinator, you know, you want the passing game. When you have a rush game like that, how much does it really make you or help you appreciate, you know, just the importance of the run game to your strategy? Yeah, I mean, that's always kind of been like, what we were, you know, two years ago, that was kind of our identity, was running the football and being physical. It's what we've stressed since we walked in the door here in, you know, in January. It was the number one thing that we were trying to get better at was being physical and dominating people in the run game. And um, that was nice to see. It was good to see it happen. We had seen, you know, seen glimpses of it this year, right, where we've had some really good runs but then we had a lot of negatives, right? We were in the negative train, negative one, negative two, negative three yard runs, but then we bust out a 50 yard. Well, Saturday, the consistency, the, the dominant play by those guys, the physicality, uh, that's what we've been preaching. That's what those guys have been working towards. So very proud, you know, to see that come to fruition. And um, now if we can just put it all together, you know, be a little bit happier. Do you feel like teams kind of, still kind of look at that as a, as a basic core? and establishing offense, you're really trying to establish a run and then get to another thing? I think so. I mean, if you look at, um, you know, you look at Georgia, right? You look at those guys on their side of the ball on offense. I mean, they're still trying to be physical, you know, and they are, they're violent, they're, they're physical. You know, you watch those guys and, and they do things right in all aspects. The wide outs block, the tight ends block. They have a lot of pride in what they're doing and so do we. And that's what we've been, you know, trying to get better at. And uh, everything that we do, regardless of, uh, you know, our skill, quarterback, this, that, and the other, the number one thing we want to do is run the football and be physical and be violent and establish the line of scrimmage. And, um, you know, so hopefully that can continue, you know, to build off this game. I was proud of those guys. Two John, last one. John, last one. As a play caller, I mean, you know you're going to have to have a really good game plan to beat Georgia today. Balance that and not try to do too much against a, a defense like yeah, that. Yeah, that is a great question. I mean, I think looking back at two years ago, um, watching that game a few more times, you know, I, I remember walking out of that game saying, man, the first 20 plays of the game, I didn't call it aggressive enough. And then we got a little bit more aggressive and were able to move the football and, and do some things. And um, so I think it, it's definitely a balance you know, in a fine line, but um, we need to be aggressive. You know, we, we need to give our kids an opportunity and a chance to go compete uh, and not just call it to, to hopefully get some things done. 
you know, we have to be aggressive. We have to give our kids the best chance to be successful. Is that because you were giving Georgia's defense too much credit? Probably so. And, you know, just so. probably so. Just be, trying to be careful, right? You know, you know, you, you know, we had, you go into it, and you know, that that defense was really good. We had some good players too, and um, probably just was a little on the conservative side. Once you start to let the kids just go play and open it up a little, you saw them go play and open it up and make some plays. So you just look at it, that's a great question because it is always a fine line between going in that environment and going up against a team like that and trying to unload the, you know, unload it. And then you don't, you know, you end up wasting all your, your shots and your plays and maybe not against the right look, things like that. So we just have to be, uh, smart about it, but we also have to go in and be aggressive.